Precious with the Maryland Symphony. I'm here today with Nico, who's going to help me demonstrate why percussion is exactly what you should be doing this fall. With social distancing and having to wear masks around your friends, what better way to get together and make music than through percussion? So we're at a park today, which has awesome instruments that are already here, but I would like to show you how some of the instruments that we use are actually imitating nature. Nico, what do you have there in your hand? Rain stick. A rain stick. Awesome. Next up, I'd like to show you the chimes. So without ever having hit the chimes, we're going to show you that even if you don't have a chime hammer, you can use a stick or something found in nature to hit tubes. You can make things at home using pots and pans, using cans, using a table. So I'll demonstrate. And Nico will show you that with a stick that we've just found in nature, he can do something very similar. Beautiful. We also thought we'd show you since percussion is the earliest form of musical expression that we can use anything at our disposal. What else did we find here today in the park? Got some rocks. Some rocks. Can, I mean, put them together. Even the person jogging by is percussion, right? It makes a little banging sound. But if you use your imagination and does not matter if you don't have the money to rent an instrument this fall. I guarantee you, you don't even need to buy a pair of sticks. Just get on Zoom, get on YouTube, watch percussion videos. You can make music and learn something so awesome. Thank you for watching and we cannot wait to see you in person next year. Bye.